You know, I, every time I've seen you, I always thought, well, that's a cool chick. You know, I wonder if she would come here and do a thing like that. Oh, fuck yeah. And then yeah. when you said yes, I thought, oh, well, I was, my instinct was right. Because I, I always thought you were cool because you would never like sort of back down when they came at you. I mean, I know you're Thank dealing you. with the anxiety uh -huh. and all that. And, I, you know, this is probably where the anxiety is coming from. Uh, hate. Yeah. And there's so much hate. In the world. Yeah. Especially, no, yeah. also the pettiness on social media, your generation, uh, is always like crazy. fucking harpies on each other. <laughs> it's like, it's, I don't know how you deal with it. I, yeah, I would have anxiety too. Yeah. If I, if I, I don't know what it would have been like if I grew up with like that kind of shit. And, and it's interesting when I, when I confront people your age with this, they never like deny it and like defend them. They're never like, no, we're not like that. They're always like, yeah. Yeah. I know, it sucks. And it's like, I know, but it's your generation. If it mm -hmm. sucks and you can control it, why don't you? Because you can't control it. Because you can control yourself, but you can't control the world. You can and, control not looking you know, at it, can Even you? in friend groups, like, you know, we've got a really hippie friend group. Um, there's some people that even like to make jokes about each other. And, you know, they have a certain dynamic in their friend group that's very... Um, you know, a little like knifey, but everyone's best friends, but they like to get, do, do these little digs that ends up making people like later on in life, you didn't even think it was anything. And then you're like, oh, actually I'm insecure about that now. Who knew? Right. And uh, in our group, like, you know, so it, I've been in, you know, making friends for a while. And it's so interesting every time, you know, we meet a new friend, make a new friend. We're very specific in our group. As soon as we start to see those kind of more negative tendencies come out, our group, like we're just, we're just too hippie. Uh, but I used to get this terrible, terrible cramp. I remember one time I was walking. Cramp? Uh, this cramp. Yeah. This just debilitating cramp. That brought on by anxiety. Would, brought on by, I didn't, and I didn't well. know for so much time growing up, like I got a, um, a colonoscopy, upper oscopy when I turned 18 because I did not know what the fuck was wrong with me. Mm. And one time as well, I remember it's just so clear as day walking out of this movie theater and I was like 15, 15, 16. And I just like, I had had cramps before, but this one was just so bad that I literally am walking outside and fall physically to my knees, like so fucking dramatic. And I just could not move. I just stayed on the floor and I was like, what, what is happening to me? Like in, in my life? What was um, happening? Literally, doctors like, you know, we found nothing. It's just anxiety. Like, you know, here's, what you can take anxiety? a bunch of pills. It's what? just, they just say it's anxiety. Like, it's not even. I know, but look. It's not like, oh, if we're, here's all the things you have anxiety about. Of course, you're always going to have anxiety in your life about, like, pretty much a lot of things. But when it gets to such an extreme point where you might think I'm okay, like I'm acting normal, but my body is like, no, bitch, you is not cute right now. You is anxious as fuck. But, and here's a cramp to tell you. But Bella, if we're going to make any progress in this psychiatrist-patient relationship, you're going to have to identify where the anxiety is coming from. We have to right. find the head of the snake. Right. You know, there's uh -huh. an alien on the ship and someone's gonna have to go up there mm -hmm. with a flamethrower uh -huh. and find it and fucking kill it. <laughs> because, you know, when we when it first got on the ship, we thought it was just a little fucking uh, harmless little unicellular creature. And then it grew like crazy fast, and now it's this big fucking uh -huh, cramp monster, in your stomach. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, but we, you know, we gotta get there. So, uh, yeah. Uh -huh.